Hi everyone, my name is Dennis. I am an architect and an English speaker. This time, we will be discussing some English lessons. But before that, do not forget to subscribe and follow me on social media found on the description. So let's get started. Our topic for today is about words added to nouns. When man began to invent words to express his ideas of the world in which he lived, we have found that probably the first need was that of names for the things about him. So we have nouns. The second need was of words to tell what these things do, and so we have verbs. But primitive men soon felt the need of the classes of words. The objects about us are not all alike. For example, we have a word for men, but when we say man, that is not sufficient to describe the many different kinds of men. There are tall men, short men, white men, black men, strong men. Weak men, busy men, lazy men. There are all sorts of men in the world. And we need words by which we can describe these different types and also indicate which men we mean. So, we have a class of words which are called adjectives. Adjective is a word derived from the word or Latin. It comes from the Latin word ad, meaning to, and the Latin word jecto, which means to throw. Hence, an adjective is a word thrown to or added to a noun. If you will stop to think for a moment, you will see that it is by their qualities that we know the things about us. Some men are strong. Some men are weak, some men are tall, some are short. These qualities belong to different men, and we separate or group them into classes as they resemble each other or differ from one another in these qualities. Things are alike, which have the same qualities. Things are unlike whose qualities are different. Apples and oranges are alike in the fact that both are round and both are edible. They are unlike in the fact that one is red and one is yellow. One may be sour and the other sweet. So, we separate them in our minds because of their different qualities. And we have a class of words, adjectives, which describe these various qualities. We use adjectives for other purposes also. For example, when we say trees, we are not speaking of any particular trees, but of trees in general. But we may add certain adjectives which point out particular trees. As for example, these trees or those trees. Or eight trees or nine trees. These adjectives limit the trees of which we are speaking to the particular trees pointed out. They do not express any particular quality of the trees like the adjectives tall or beautiful express, but they limit the use of the word trees in its application. So we have our definition of the adjective. An adjective is a word added to a noun to qualify or limit its meaning. So by this time, let us do some exercises and you can download the exercises 
inside the description of this video content for free. And for those of you who are watching on different groups or Facebook groups, you can access it on my Facebook profile. Just make sure that we are or I am on your friends list. Simply, you add me as your friend on your Facebook and you will automatically see all my lesson content including this topic. And going back on the exercises, you just underscore all of the adjectives in the following exercises. And notice also the nouns and verbs in that exercise. Again, it is a Google Drive link that you can access only on my Facebook profile. Just make sure that you add me on your friends list. All right, and that ends our lesson. I hope you like it. Please help us to make more contents and get updates by clicking the subscribe button and add me on your social media accounts. Thank you everyone!